Hello, this is a short presentation um, about open digital badges, what they are, the, a brief history and um, what they look like. So during a 2010 conference hosted by the web browser company Mozilla Firefox, early open badges prototypes were initially developed under the banner of learning, freedom and the web. Research carried out ahead of the conference by a lady called Erin Knight recognised that there are loads of different ways that learning takes place other than traditional classrooms. And actually these traditional classroom places of learning simply don't suit everyone or aren't accessible for all for many reasons. Erin proposed that in an ideal world, learning could be connected across formal and informal learning contexts and people should be able to discover their own opportunities, be in control of their own learning pathways at their own pace, based on interests and individual learning styles. In this digital age, there is also an increasing pressure on everyone to acquire new skills and knowledge, not only to help get into employment or career advancement, but just to fulfil basic needs, get equal access to opportunities, and to be active participants in a modern society. The answer to support this ideal was the idea of open badges. Open badges would be conversation starters and the information linked to, linked to or behind each badge would serve as demonstration and show evidence. They would be verified and so hard to fake or forge and they would allow earners to present a more complete picture of the skills and competencies to various audiences including potential employers, mentors and peers. By 2015, large corporations like IBM, Pearson and Microsoft began to adopt open badges, joining thousands of cross-sector organisations around the world. As part of the overall badging framework, there is an element called Backpack. This is a free online space where all earners host and collect their badges before pushing out and sharing to these other spaces. In 2019, Mozilla was seeking a partner to take over the maintenance of Backpack and they selected a company called Badger.com to fill that role. This is because of the alignment with their core values and Badger's reputation for high quality work. Around the same time, Coventry University was also carrying out research into the value of Badges to recognise its students' extracurricular activities and so partnered with Badger to essentially test out and see how both staff and students could engage with them. So how does it work? Badger.com have the platform, the framework and the backpack software, but there needs to be a middle person, an issuer, to interact with Badger.com in order to create their badges and issue them to earners. So as you can see there are um, multiple um, people that are recognising badges these days, um, along with some uh, big names such as Google and Adobe. And these are the types of um, illustrative uh, examples of badges that are out there. The term open digital badge means that there, are, there is data and, and evidence behind the image that validates, shows evidence and describes exactly what someone did to, to achieve their badge. So on a backpack, on a CV, on social media, a badge will appear uh, in most cases as a nice image, but upon the clicking on this image, user take, users are taken to a um, public page, which looks something like this. So here we can see that this has been awarded to me and everything I had to do in order to receive this badge. And from here, I can choose what to do with my badge. Maybe I'm proud of this and I'd like to share it with my friends on Facebook, or maybe I have a LinkedIn profile and I'd like to see, I'd like potential recruiters to see my new skills. In order to do this, I would cl simply click uh, the share along the right hand side, uh, which would give me this option, and then I can decide from here where, where I want to publish it. And uh, this is just an example of what it would look like on a LinkedIn uh, page. So you can see here the, the welcome, online welcome ambassador uh, badge has been issued. It knows it's from Coventry University, so it's pulled through the Phoenix. But upon clicking on that online welcome ambassador within LinkedIn, um, the end user is then uh, directed to 
the public badge page on the left hand side uh, where they can see everything that somebody did to receive that badge. And this is just an example of what, what they could potentially look like on somebody's CV. Again, they can be embedded images, which, which would link out. So if you're sending a, a CV through um, electronically, that can all be linked through to the badge pages. Another feature, which I think is really important to, uh, to add here is a link to indeed.co.uk. So either before or after an earner decides to engage with, um, with a badge, they can get a picture of how a badge might offer opportunities by seeing how the skills gained translate to today's job market. For example, if I was to click on the skills tag here, which is creativity, I would be directed to Indeed to see what jobs uh, are looking for these skills these days. So we move on to the open badge uh, validator. So this is really, um, a way to ensure the badges uh, are not faked or forged. So I just want to, to show you this quickly. So there's a verification tool, should a recruiter wish to ensure that a person sharing is definitely the correct recipient. They simply put the URL of the badge into the online validator tool and are met with the screen to confirm it's passed its checks, which looks something like this. And the, uh, the final feature of, of the pro package which the university has is uh, the ability to create a badging pathway. So that's um, taking your individual badges and uh, placing them into a way that um, the earner can, uh, can work through uh, various different um, badges to, to receive a completion badge. So they're a way of offering motivation uh, to, to carry on going with, with pathways and um, they can see the, a clear route through to, to their end goal as well. Um, pathways also offer the opportunity for, um, for issuers to be able to collaborate with badges. So you can pull in uh, badges from different, different issuers as well. So that is the um, short presentation on, on badges. And if, if you would like to get in touch uh, to, to talk more, then please do feel free to contact me at the D DMLL at coventry.ac.uk. Thank you.